Grace and peace and spoiler alert for the Three Musketeers, the Disney version. My name's Ryan, I'm the movie pastor, and the theaters are closed, so I'm watching movies on Disney Plus, because I had to get Disney Plus so I could see Hamilton, and I finally got around to watching the Three Musketeers. What an all-star cast. Man, that, that was fun. Uh, let's talk about the theological themes that are present in the Three Musketeers. Now, thematically and in terms of core messaging, there's not a ton to dig into. Um, had kind of a paint-by-numbers plot that is typical of uh, kids and young adult movie, right? D'Artagnan wants to be an adventurer and join the Three Musketeers, and then he meets some Three Musketeers, and they're musketeering, and he musketeers with them, and then he gets to be a musketeer. Uh, so, I don't know. Try try to do things and make some friends? That's, a, that's an adequate message. But, luckily for me, this novel by Dumas is old enough that we were still not shying away from speaking articulately about our faith in books. And so one of these characters has Christianity as kind of a essential aspect of who they are. I'm speaking, of course, about Aramis, the musketeer who in this version is played by Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen plays the religious musketeer. And it, it kind of works, but I'll get into that. See, Aramis, at least this version of Aramis, I haven't read the book, uh, he has a faith, but it's not, it's not an authentic faith. It's not a lived faith. It's, it's a habitual faith. Aramis is a former student of the Cardinal. The Cardinal, played by Tim Curry, is the bad guy of the film. And he, for one reason or another, off camera, has decided that that's not the life for him and rejected the cassock in favor of the life of a musketeer, but retained his faith. Yet his faith is something he goes through the motions of. So he delivers last rites for one of the people that dies. He tries to tutor theology to one of the women that uh, classic of the Cavalier era were trying to woo. But when that woman is less interested in learning her Bible and more interested in making out with Aramis, he's totally willing to do that and even to give a theological justification for it. So at the end of the film, in the final conflict, when Aramis is shot by the Cardinal, falls down, and then it is revealed, spoiler alert, that the bullet hit the cross that he wears on his chest beneath his little musketeery curtain, he responds with the pithy gotcha quote, See, there is a god. Oh, Athos and Porthos weren't so interested in theology, but he got shot in the cross and now he's still alive, so gotcha. And, and that's kind of where the movie leaves it. Like, within the world of this movie, faith is depicted as something that's fine. Like, if that's your thing, that can be your thing. There, there might even be some advantages to that. It's not ridiculous. It's not pointless. But neither is it important or worthwhile. It's just something that's there. I think that's unfortunate. And I actually wish they'd done more with it. Now, I don't think anybody else would have enjoyed if they'd done more with it. They had a musketeer story to tell, and the musketeer story was not primarily about theology. It was primarily about swinging off of chandeliers and stuff. But the last quote of the film during D'Artagnan's kind of, I don't know what it's called, ceremony when, when he's musketeerified, 
the king says that the world is an uncertain realm filled with danger. Honor undermined by the pursuit of power. Freedom sacrificed when the weak are oppressed by the strong. But there are those who oppose these powerful forces. Who dedicate their lives to truth, honor, and freedom. These men are known as musketeers. See, Aramis's faith isn't shallow because... Christianity is shallow. Aramis's faith is shallow by comparison to his self-identity as a musketeer, which in the real world is a job. It's being a guard for a king who in a generation is going to get deposed because the monarchy of France isn't a totally good thing. In fact, it's kind of a bad thing oppressing the poor. But in this fantasy world, musketeers stand for honor and justice and all that is right and good, and they work to make the world a better place. And compared to taking meaningful action and having meaningful fellowship with people that are involved in a real way in making the world a better place and stopping injustice, Saying a few ritual prayers that you have memorized just doesn't matter very much. How many of us live lives of faith that are as habitual as Aramis's? How many of us have a faith which is fine, but it just doesn't matter? And what would happen if our faith was less like that and more like becoming a musketeer? How many more people would be interested in joining a group like that? And when in scenes of glory I sing the new, new song, twill be.